Hi, Lamb Fanatics. Lily White Lilith of lilywhite.com here. And thanks for joining me on, again, just another great ride through the Lamb. You know, one of the great things about meeting a lot of the fellow Lamb Fanatics that I have on this journey is that sometimes people come up and best you at just about everything. Uh, you know, the person that I'm talking about really is the Grammy Award winning mix audio engineer and producer Tom Lord Algae. Now after my project sparked his imagination, he went into his studio and actually sat down and lined up the Shrine of Auditorium recording with the Archive One pressing and came up with some amazing discoveries. So let's go ahead and join him in his studio and we'll investigate it further together. Welcome to South Beach Studios. We're about to enter the chamber. There's not 32 doors, but it's a chamber nonetheless. Come on in. Chamber of South Beach Studios. Let's go down to the control room. Follow me. As you can see, some of the records that we've done in South Beach Studios Weezer, Blink 182, Avril Lavigne, Fallout Boy, Sum 41, Hole, Weezer, another Weezer. We like Weezer. Sarah McLaughlin. I'm Tom Lord Algy. Welcome to South Beach Studios. I'm a huge Genesis and Gabriel fan. And one of the great things and the many facets of my relationship with Genesis and Peter Gabriel over the years is the multi-layered relationship that I have with Peter, which started out when I was 16 years old as a fan going to his shows. It started on October 4th in 1978, where I witnessed my first Peter Gabriel show, and that was at the bottom line. And lucky me, it was two shows that night. And I was hooked. And over those, over the years since 1978, I've been to well over 200 Peter Gabriel shows. And my relationship with Peter started as a fanatic fan. And I always let Peter know that I was at the show, one, by having great seats and being able to weasel my way into a seat where I would be able to have eye contact with Peter. So our relationship began as a fanatical fan and I would, would talk to him after the show and he knew me through that. Secondly, as I became a professional in the music industry, he approached me about working with me. I made it clear to him that I wanted to do the work on my own because in my mind, I never wanted him to put two and two together and realize I was that fan. So when I did the remix of a song called Big Time off, that, off of So, I did the mix and he loved it. And when an opportunity came to meet him professionally, I jumped at it. And I remember him walking in the room and me introducing myself. I go, I'm Tom Lord Algy. And he said to me, you're that guy. And I said, now you understand why I didn't want you to, 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 to meet me in person before I before you judge me on my work. And and he, he, he laughed. And yes, now I understand. Um, so that would be the second part of the relationship I have with Peter. And the third part is somewhere around the late 90s or early 2000s, Peter bought a company called Solid State Logic. What I'm sitting in front of right now is a recording console made by a company called Solid State Logic. I've been a huge supporter of this particular console since 1984 when I first came across one and have mixed every single song I've ever worked on been mixed on a solid state made logic console. So now our relationship is threefold because now I'm also a customer that purchases the equipment from the company that he owns. Um, Peter's always been very generous with his time with me and uh, every time I sit in front of an SSL um, there's always that bit of rail running through me that I like to translate into the mixing and the music that I work on. Now, having given you some of that insight, I've been working on, on lining up the original recording from the Shrine Auditorium with the archive version, which had some overdubs on it. And one of the interesting things that I found is there are a handful of songs that have little or no overdubs, but one of them is probably one of the more, more poignant moments in the record, and, and the big turning point is the Chamber of 32 Doors. The Chamber of 32 Doors has no overdubs, it has no fixes, and it is as it was performed. And this is the Chamber of 32 Doors.
the stairs there's hundreds of people running around to all the lots They try to find, find themselves in all the years Their inductions need applause The rich man stands in front of me Just pure passion, pure no trickery, no technology, pure artistry, pure emotion. Tony always gets the last word. It's usually sometimes Tony or Phil, depending on if Phil, Phil hits the vibes, but Lamb Fanatics, that is unadulterated, untouched, pure 1974 Genesis magic. Mm -hmm. 